And pull, we're going to pour a cup of coffee and give you a little weather folklore here and uh, let you know how you can predict the weather and show that the pressure might be falling. So uh, we take two cups and we fill them with uh, one of them with coffee and the other one with coffee and or whatever you want. It works with hot chocolate, too. So if the pressure is high, all the bubbles that you see on the top of the hot chocolate or coffee will go toward the center of the cup because the, the high pressure is pushing down in the middle of that liquid on top of the cup. So, and if the pressure is low, you'll have the pressure lifting that wa that liquid up, and so all the bubbles will go toward the side of the cup. So we sent Chase Thomason into the kitchen, and let's find out what Chase found out. Did it really happen? Chase? Let's test out that theory, Sterling. We have a cup of coffee, and we're going to pour it into this mug. Now pay attention, because it happens quick. You can see that those bubbles go to the side of the rim, which means pressure is dropping and a storm is coming our way. Sterling, back to you. Oh, now we want to find out if the pressure is actually dropping. And sure enough, the pressure is dropping since uh, 9 o'clock this morning. The pressure has continued to drop, and it's continuing to drop tomorrow as well as that storm gets a little bit closer. So falling pressure means possibly stormy weather and that's what we've got in the forecast for you especially across southern utah two storms one here one down here this is a tropical infused storm and lots of moisture coming up from the south this has got some cold air so it's all going to kind of mix together right here over central california and southern nevada the tropical moisture is going to really give us some good rain to southern utah and the cooler air will also bring snow to the higher elevations. so here comes this storm system here comes this storm system this becomes the dominant storm system and this has got Got the cold air in it so it comes swinging around and it starts pumping a ton of that tropical moisture into southern utah so that's what we've got here arizona is going to get rain southern nevada is going to get rain and southern utah is going to get rain so far this is wednesday morning at 3 a.m not much going on across northern utah but the southern part of the state is going to get some precipitation and as it gets colder as this colder air moves in closer you start to see more snow the snow levels coming down from the higher elevations down to about 7,000, 8,000 feet. So that's good snow. And look at all the snow falling up in Wyoming. So that's light snow, but that's good news for those folks too. So we get rain in the valleys uh, through Wednesday at 6 p.m. Then uh, Wednesday night into Thursday, we could start to see those temperatures dropping and maybe a little snow even in the northern Utah valleys, but not much as far as accumulation. So 6,300s in St. George through 8 o'clock tomorrow. That's just part of the storm. 9400s in Kanab, and as we put it all together, you can see that we do expect, well, the North American models, out of, um, we're throwing that out. But anywhere from 1 and, one and 4, 1.4 1 to 1 and a half inches of precipitation expected across southern Utah. And the snowfall, of course, will be limited to the higher elevations. We're not expecting huge amounts of snow in Utah, uh, northern Utah, until Thursday and then we could see those amounts increase. So we are looking at the 8 to 10 day forecast, which is above normal precipitation, which is great news. Here's the seven day forecast that takes us into the weekend. The weekend shapes up pretty nice, but between now and then, St. George is going to get a lot of rain and maybe even some thunder showers on Thursday. For Salt Lake City, we'll see those temperatures right there in the 60s tomorrow. Then we're into the 40s, actually low 40s by Thursday with a slight chance of snow early Thursday morning. My guaranteed forecast for tomorrow is 63 degrees and we got the forecast right Friday, so Theron Larson at Pleasant Grove is the winner of a Sterling Set of Wood Umbrella. I love that example with the coffee. That's yeah, kind of cool. So it interesting, works. yeah. Just funny.